I'm going to take a minute now to discuss the, some of the surface behaviors for a body revolution component. And if you'll remember the convention that this is basically a wing wrapped around on itself, these directions and the way that it behaves is going to make sense. So the first thing that I want to show you is how the U tessellation is set up on this component. And it might not be clear right off the bat, but let's drag this down to the minimum. Now you can see that because it needs to have at least those four points as you go around the circle to define even the most basic rough cut body of revolution to complete the loop, we have to have one, two, three, four different sections. So when you give it num u, you're actually giving, the, giving it the tessellation between this zero cross section and the one cross section. Okay. So as you increase this to something even relatively small, say 15, you've got 15 for each one of these. And the reason I point that out is because when you get to the point when you're ready to tar start scripting or building up custom components, when you see this, you might think that you want a nice high number of U sections to make it smooth, but you'll overdo it. So I just wanted to point that out so that you can see how it behaves and know that it's there and that for something, say, a relatively low number of U sections, you're going to get a pretty smooth component. Okay. Now, the other thing, again, that this is very similar to a wing component, the surface normals are going to behave that same convention. So I've got this blank attached in UW in rotation and translation. So the U direction is going to go in the spanwise direction as we wrap around from the root to the tip of this wrapped component. So we start here, go to 25, 50, 75%, 100% as it wraps around. Very similar to a wing. If we go to zero, we're at the trailing edge, we wrap around the bottom or the inside, go over the leading edge to the top or the outside, and back to the trailing edge. So that's just a bit of an overview on how a body of revolution surface direction and surface tessellation behaves. It's slightly different than some of the other components, but now that you're aware of that, you can go ahead and use it the way that you want to.